everyone, it's Nona Grace. Now if you see an orange thing above my head, it's not a bow. We tried to lower the camera down so that the chicken is not seen as much. I had a few that thought I had an orange bow on my hair. No, no orange bow. Well, how I hope you all had a good, good day today. I did. I'm going to put a few little videos in of my day because it was kind of blasé. And then you'll see a little video of Jim. So let's just put the videos in right here. What should I do today? It snowed. And I fed the chickens already. See my footsteps and I left the gate open because if it snows more, it'll make it harder to push it. But they are locked in, so they're good. And now I think I'll just file my nails, maybe. Wow, that would, took me a bit to figure out how to do this. I have a crystal file, is what I use. And this one is an old one. It's an OPI. And I, I have it in this container that it came in. And what I do is I, the, the thing with the glass filers or the crystal filers, you never end up with funny um, edges. When you file your nails, you can go back and forth, but your finishing file should always be outward. And that way you'll find that it's smooth. I like these the best because the emery boards seem to make my nails rougher and then I get more catches. And then I go across the top like this. You will love these crystal nail file files. This one's an old one. You can see it's pretty dirty there. I'll get a, different, a new one. When I went out to my son's, I picked up a new file because, you know, when you don't have one, you need it. And I never did end it up, I never did need it. And what it is is I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply. They're probably all over the place, I don't know. And because I am a hairdresser, I get a discount. But this is what it was, this one was in. This one's a Swissco. It's a little bit different. And they're not real expensive. I think I paid about $5, I think. the It was six forty nine. dollars is what it was. Six dollars and forty nine cents. You can hardly see that. Oh my goodness! I better write that on there. And because I'm a hairdresser, I got it a little bit cheaper. So yep, that's what I have. And I haven't had to use it yet, but I keep it in my purse just in case. Well, after I get my nails filed, I think I should probably polish them. I haven't had them polished in a long time. Look what he's doing. He's making a path for my fence. There he is. You were on my film. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, I turned it off though, and he said, yeah, look at all the crazy things we do for chickens. Yes, we do do crazy things for the chickens. Can you believe we got snow again and Jim wanted to be outside? He said my fence was falling over, so he wanted to fix it. Even though the chickens won't go out, he wanted to fix the fence. I um, changed their water today and fed them, which you saw the footsteps to that. And I have a question. The question is, why do we collect things that have no value? Why do we seem to do that? I was today, tonight I was putting away some little, you know, when you open your milk up or your half and half and you have that little circle that you pull the tab. Well, I saved both of those. Now, why do I save those? The one, the circle part I plan to crochet, but the other part, I don't know why I save it. It might make a nice decoration on something someday, but we do, we save things that are not worth anything. And why do we do that? And do you save something that's not? Have that has no value, and what if you about do the caps too. Oh yeah, the caps on the, the top. Caps, I saved them, but save that was that was so that I could count to see how many we use. But I forgot to empty the jug, and I and now they're half 
gallons instead of gallons before they used to be gallons. So I don't know what I'm just still saving them though. But why yeah. I don't know. I was curious. Do you collect something that has no value? And if you do, what is it that you collect? I would like to really know and what you plan to do with it now that you've collected it. So that's it for today. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.